most unflattering angles because of all that mess, but whatever. Um, today is, I don't even know it's May or something like that. It'll be on the screen. <laughs> I just booked my COVID vaccine today and I'm going to have my first dose the day after my nephew's fifth birthday in June. So that's pretty good. So I'm excited that I did that. That's something that I've been wanting to do and book for ages. Uh, today, I am actually going to be going outside for a change. So uh, I have to go to the bakery. I have to go to the bank. I have to do all these things. So I thought, why not take you along with me? My mom will also be there. So she will be making appearances in the vlog. So this should be fun. So I'm going to show you a few places I like to go to that are near where I live. So yeah, that's my little follow up. Right now I'm getting something to eat and I'm going to get ready. Um, I may show you a bit of that since I'm gonna be getting ready and then we will head out. It is actually very warm today, so it's quite sunny. So I'm looking forward to it uh, to be outside. So that's going to be exciting. So yeah, uh, just a little, little sun, sun in there, you know, anyway, um, I will check in with you guys when I'm going to get ready, but I'm just going to first get something to eat and then I'll come back. <laughs> body with this beautiful Topshop blazer that is linen and cotton. I'm wearing my mango mom jeans and my Steve Madden white sneakers with the rolls gold on the bottom. My green JW pie bag. And then for accessories, I'm wearing my Missouri croissant ring and my dome ring and also my Sagittarius ring. My huggies that were part of that collaboration with Claire Marshall with Missouri. This necklace from Uncle that I always have on. And then I have my Aritzia linen mask with my little mask chain that I got from Amazon. So it's 19 degrees out. So this is, this is today's fit. So that's the look. I'm gonna go uh, catch the bus now. <laughs> the worst part about taking the bus, I would say is the fact of always trying to run and catch the bus, which is what we decided to do. So we'll see. It is very warm outside. I'm taking this down because there's no one around. Because <laughs> I don't want my face to be hot. I decided to put on my Ray-Bans because I never really wear these. So I thought it would be nice to rock a Ray-Ban. It is so sunny. Oh my gosh, and it's very warm out. So this is a nice day to go to the village, right? Oh, you know what we didn't bring? A bag. Oh, that's mom's for you. She has one. <laughs> this is the bakery that I go to. It's called Hot Oven. Honestly, the worst thing, you're right, I'm not listening and I'm recording. So the worst thing about it, about wearing a mask when it's hot outside is the fact that your face feels like it's about to fall off. So I'm actually walking back now to go to Starbucks. There's my mom. It's really nice outside, but my God, is my face hot. Oh my god. This is the only thing. I think that most of the time when we were in lockdown to begin with, we were inside, so I didn't even realize how warm it actually is wearing a mask outside. Wouldn't you say so? So, it's like super crazy, but we're gonna go to Starbucks because I haven't been in to Starbucks in a while. I'm gonna get something refreshing to drink. And then we're actually gonna walk back and take the bus to go back home. So, it'll be a quick trip outside. <laughs> eh? Okay. And we're gonna take some pictures because I can't let the stuff go to waste. We can get this, the yellowtail Cabernet Sauvignon. So we can get that because she dragged me in here. Oh, the red label one? This red label? It's like, the well, there's, I like open. If you guys are at open. No, I know what it's called. I'm just saying I like open and there's one that's tiny. Open court. So that one. Yeah, there's open Merlot. Oh, there it is. And then, no. 
It's red as well. Also, we've never been in this whole video, so it's really confusing because we've never been in this one. We only go to the one that's near our house. The one that I drink is called Apothic and it's over here. So this Apothic, Apothic Red is from California. It looks like this. So it's this one. Yeah. And it's, from, it's from California. It's $16.95. That's the one that I love. But yeah, this, this also is huge, by the way. Okay. So that's it. I am back from being outside. It is so nice outside and it's so hot. I unsuccessfully did not take pictures outside in this outfit just because I was boiling. So we're just gonna have to deal with mirror, mirror selfies at this point. But when we went to the bakery that I showed you, hot oven, we, I picked up two chicken pot pies to have for lunch and some raisin bread and some whole wheat bread, all the bread <laughs> that we could possibly eat. And we went to Starbucks as well my mom did a good deed she bought um there was this man who was homeless he was asking for a grilled cheese sandwich and some ice water so my mom was nice enough to pick that up for him and he was like he was very thankful for it so that was her good deed i guess of the, of the week <laughs> you could say that but now i have the chicken pot pies in the oven heating up and i have my ice matcha latte because it was so hot also, too, I just really wanted to get a Starbucks treat just because I haven't been into a Starbucks literally in over a year um, because of what's going on. So I did that. And I'm probably going to change now because, like, I'm totally still dressed. So I should probably change my clothes into something far more comfortable. My mom already has changed out of her... Look at that. She changed out of her pink outfit. But, yeah. So I'm going to do that. I was going to work out, but... I'm too tired, so I'll just have to do that workout tomorrow instead. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change, and then I'll chip back in with you when I'm probably eating my chicken pot pie. But can we talk about that? My bra I'm only wearing brow product, by the way. My brows look really good. I'm really liking the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow freeze. Like it I like it. My brows aren't very finicky, and because they're not very... Can't even see me. Because my brows are not very thick, the hairs are relatively fine, so like it holds them up really well. So now I'm just gonna change because I'm like boiling. I'm probably gonna like throw on a dress or something. Cause geez, there's some shorts. I don't even know. Oh my god. Anyway, I will check back in with you guys when I'm eating my food because I'm starving. Oh wait, I have to show you the wine. Wait, before I change, I'm gonna, mom. Before I change, we need to show them the wine. Yeah, I spell raisin. What's that? I R A I S I N. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> Obviously. Okay, so we went, wow, that was a really bad angle. We went to the LCBO and we picked up some wine. So there's, you guys know I love red wine. I've talked about this. But then there was this one, which is called Barefoot Pink Pinot Grigio from California. It was only $8 and I think it was like 95 cents. This has won more than 2,000 awards, apparently. So this is like a pink Pinot Grigio. So ultimately, it's like a rosé. Then I also picked up this wine from New Zealand, which is Stone... Stone, what does that say? Stone? Stone? Stonely? Stonely? Okay. Sauvignon Blanc <laughs> 2020. It's a wine of New Zealand. So that's another one to try I, you probably guys are like oh my god she bought something other than red wine so this is crazy that was my mom making noise in the background sorry then as you guys saw earlier uh what sorry for that guys so then yellowtail uh cabernet sauvignon oh, i can't even speak now because i'm confused yellowtail cabernet sauvignon and then the last one is the one that i always like which is the apothic red that my sister introduced me to this is a cork one and it's apothic red so those ones are the four bottles of wine i picked up i got these two but i'm gonna pick up the two reds so that's what i want to show you now i'm gonna go change so i've changed and stuff so now i'm i'm actually working on uploading to awkward and black for an episode that we recorded on Sunday. It was supposed to go up on Monday, but I just got very tired. So I'm uploading it to go up tonight at 5.30. So by the time you guys see this vlog, this episode has already been up for like a few days, almost a week. And then I'm also working on the video for that. And I'm also editing the vlog I'm recording as I go so that it's easier for me in the long run. I started doing that. So 
I've started to edit the vlogs that I record at the same time. So like any clips that I do, I will edit them. I'll, well, I'll record first. And then I will like transfer the files to my computer and start editing so that it's faster. Not to mention, I can make it so the vlog actually makes more sense so that I'm not wondering if I'm missing any clips or if I'm not doing anything. And so yeah, but I, ch I changed, like I said in my last clip, I've been obsessed with wearing my outfit that I got from, I don't know if you guys remember that this was part of the set that I got from Zara. You can see it. That I got from Zara. I absolutely love these pants. They're so comfortable. And then I'm wearing the uh, knit, sculpt knit from Aritzia. Um, it's funny, I still call this the old name, which is the Arjun knit tank, but it's now called sculpt knit. Um, this is a medium, but I'm pretty sure I could have worn a small because I find the medium stretch out a bit on me, but a small would work in this on me as well. So I'm a 32C, so if you're the same size as me, you can wear a small, but a medium does fit because I have three of these. I have black, I have white, and I have like a mustard color. But I'm going to buy more of these for the summer just because I think I, I wear them so much. <laughs> My outfit is very. <laughs> oh god. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm working on now. I had my chicken pot pie, it was absolutely delicious. And for tonight, I'm making a hello fresh meal. It's um barbecued salmon with like this salad cheese goat cheese or something like that. It's gonna be delicious because I like HelloFresh uh, recipes. They're very, very yummy. So I'm gonna keep working on that uh, and go from there. I'm very tired. Like I don't even I'm just I'm so sleepy. <laughs> I've been sleeping super hard at night though. Like I, I go to bed and literally just pass out and sleep like just part. Like nothing can move me. But I've always slept really heavy. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Why I sleep so hard? But do I get a good sleep? Yes, I do. I love sleep. I also like going to bed relatively early. Anyway, that's what I was gonna talk about. So. I finished the first season. Anyone who loves anime, this is for you. So I just finished the first season of The Promised Neverland. I have not read the manga. I really want to now. So I liked the first season. I think that it's it's like a fantasy dark anime series. If you've heard of it, then you know it's about these children who end up finding out that they are actually being farmed. Um, and they're going to be, unfortunately, given to Demon Seed. But it's about them escaping from like their house and this woman who's there who's called mom um i really like the first season i found i'm now watching the second season on funimation because you can watch it on there i'm really really into it i did read reviews that people said that it's not as complex and as great as the manga so i may have to look into reading the mangas as well but i've been really enjoying the anime series um i also have to start watching the series yasuke which is the black samurai justin's gonna be watching that with me because uh, he's he's really excited for it he's not <laughs> I, i'm such an anime geek he likes anime too but like he has to super he has to like be into it i also was i also am currently watching because i watch this like on and off um high rise invasion that one's crazy anyone who has seen high rise invasion please comment down below um because it's it's intense also if you're new here don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell be a part of this come back I like to vlog and do some other stuff. You know, I post beauty videos. I post fashion videos. What else do I do? I do a lot of things. Also, you should follow me on Instagram, which I'm going to insert right there. I mean, who doesn't love an Instagram feed? Mine is not curated. I like to post organically. <laughs> anyway, that's just me doing this. But I'm going to continue editing so that I can hopefully piece together this day. Because uh, today's Tuesday. I think I said that maybe. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be vlog vlogging, vlogging up until Saturday. I like to have my Sundays off and like, you know, relax. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. And yeah, so you know what? We'll check in later when I'm cooking so you guys can uh, watch a little HelloFresh. A little fresh, a little freshy HelloFreshy recipe. <laughs>
I'm going to make some eggs and then have some waffles and go from there. So I worked out. I did a dance workout. I've been doing the Taurus body dance workouts because they're a lot of fun. They're like 25 minutes. Not to mention, you actually burn quite a few calories doing these workouts, but they're a lot of fun. It also lets me know that I'm not good at following choreography practice, but I'm showered kind of ready because I still need to eat and then figuring out what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Ever since YouTube introduced like checks into their videos, the Awkward and Black visual like podcast, it still has an hour left and it's been uploading since yesterday. So I'm just sitting here like this is going to take forever and I don't really know what to do. Today is beautiful outside. So I'm probably going to film a few reels. We'll see. And yeah. I like how I just have, it looks like I just So sorry for this vlog being all haphazard and all over the place. But it is now the Victoria Day Long weekend here in Canada. And we are all chilling in the park, my family and I. Right now they're playing this game of hide and seek. But there's not that many structures to hide behind. So that's what we're doing. And we're hanging out in the park and listening to music. And then we're going to have dinner later. But I just wanted to check in with you guys to apologize that this vlog is so all over the place. Oh my god. This is the game of hide and seek. We don't have many structures, but that's my mom. And then other people in the distance out here trying to hide. This should be good. watching this very crazy haphazard vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed some tidbits from watching us in the park, watching me in the park during the May 2-4 long weekend. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>